Hi guys, this is Jogurt and on this beginner's guide I'm going to cover 5 different topics and make them as simple as possible to help all those newer players on Xbox and PS4 to get started. The topics are the consumables, the equipment, the attachments and the basic of weapon loadout. The gameplay we're going to be watching are some highlights from patch 1.0 update number 3 on Xbox One. The first topic we're going to be covering is the consumables. The consumables in PUBG include the medical items or healing items and the boosters. The healing items are the bandages, the first aid kits and the med kits. Bandages are the most common healing items and they heal you for 10 HP over 4 seconds with a 4 second channel time. First aid kits heal you instantly up to 75 HP with a 6 second channel time. The last healing item are the med kits. The med kits are the strongest healing item and they heal you instantly up to 100 HP with an 8 second channel time. The med kits are one of the two consumables that can get you past 75 HP. Now let's go over the boosters. The boosters are consumables that fill the yellow bar on top of your health bar. And that bar is called the boost bar. There are three different types of boosters. The energy drinks, the painkillers and the adrenaline syringe. The energy drinks fill your boost bar up to 40%, the painkillers give you 60% and the adrenaline syringe fills your boost bar up to 100. Fully boosting lasts for 5 minutes and makes you run 6% faster or 2.5% while in the third bar. Also the higher the boost bar the faster you regenerate health. If you're in the passenger seat of a moving vehicle you can use bandages and boosters. The second topic is equipment or protective gear, and this includes helmets and vests. While looting around the map, you can find three different tiers of vest and two different tiers of helmets, while the level 3 helmet is exclusive to airdrops and crates. Each tier of protective gear provides a percentage of damage mitigation, the level 1 being 30%, the level 2 is 40%, and the level 3 is 55%. The number you see on the icon of your helmet or vest is the durability or damage needed for it to break. The next topic is muscle attachments. There are three different muscle attachments in PUBG, the compensator, the flash hider and the silencer. If you want recoil control, always go for the compensator. The flash hider also reduces recoil a bit and hides your muscle flash making it harder for enemies to spot you. The silencers also hide muscle flash and reduces weapon sound making it much harder for enemies to pinpoint where the shots are coming from. Contrary to popular belief, the silencers don't reduce weapon recoil. Instead, they increase bullet deviation by 5%, increasing the bullet spread of your weapon while hip firing or over the shoulder aiming. Next up are the grips. There are 5 different grips and a laser sight for the underbarrel attachments on Pop G. Let's start by saying that any grip is better than no grip, but some grips are better than others for some situations. For example, if you're looking to single fire tap at distance, the best option is the vertical grip followed by the lightweight grip or the thumb grip. But if you're looking for recoil control on spray downs, the half grip is your best option for long and controlled sprays and the vertical grip is good for short sprays. The angle grip is another good option for spraying and close quarter combat with faster ADS speed and horizontal recoil reduction. The last topic is weapon loadout. Weapon choice is very important since some weapons are better than others for some scenarios. In your loadout you should always carry a close quarters weapon, preferably fully automatic like an SMG or an AR. Your second weapon should be focused on mid to long range combat like a bolt action sniper, a DMR or an AR. If you're going for an AR, try to go for a high bullet velocity like a 5.56 variant or a mutant. On your close range weapon optic slot, you should equip a red dot or a holographic sight for easier target tracking. You can also go with a 2x if you have practice with it, but you may get lost while ADSing in very close encounters. For your long range weapon you should use any magnification optic you can find ranging from the 3x, 4x, 6x or 8x. In the end weapon choice is a personal thing so try out each weapon and see which one fits your playstyle better. Same goes for the optics so try them all and see which one works best for you. When playing PUBG for the first couple of matches you should not play to win, you should just play to get better. 
If you only play to win, you might get frustrated or you will feel more pressure when the time to fight comes. Winning in a battle royale like PUBG is not an easy task, with all the variables and all the different things you have to overcome in every single game. But don't worry, the chicken dinners will come by later on. At first, it's better to focus on learning the game mechanics, the controls, the maps, the different weapon recoil patterns, how to lead just on moving targets, and more importantly, on getting better and more confident in gunfights. I would recommend to go on the training mode for a couple of minutes and get used to the game mechanics, the controls, the looting system, maybe fire a couple of shots and get a feel for weapon recoil and bullet drop at distance. But if you find that too boring and you want to be in a real game setting, you can drop in a not so hot area but where you get 1 to 3 solo players or 1 to 2 teams if you're playing duos or squads. In this way, you have time to get a decent weapon and preferably helmet and vest before your first gunfight. Also, try to take fights in different scenarios, don't just always look to run first, because even if you lose the fight, you might learn something. You should only look to run if the late circles are closing in. If you just run and hide every time, maybe you'll get lucky and win once in a while. But in most of the games, eventually you will have to fight players, and it's really important that you feel confident in firefights. That's all for now, thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and see you in the battlegrounds.